I'm back with another video. As you can tell, this one specifically is about calories. I figured I'd start off a little mini series of just going over fundamental basics of exercise and nutrition. No! Oh, please God, no! And I figured there's no better place to start than with calories. So what I'm going to be going through is what the hell are calories, why we need them, and how you can figure out your personal calorie needs on a daily basis. So, first of all, we need to clean this board. <laughs> that was the worst transition I've ever done. Okay, we're going to keep rolling. I can't be doing any more takes. So, what we're going to talk about first is what are calories. Calories mean energy. The more calories we have, the more energy we put in our bodies. However, there's a very important purpose of calories. And that A is for us to function, to live on a daily basis, and then B to provide the energy to do our daily activities. Now the first one is extremely important because we need to get a specific number of calories every single day in order just to simply live, in order for our organs to work, our brain to function on a daily basis. And that figure is specifically called a BMR. So this is the equation which I personally use to figure out my basal metabolic rate. This is simply something which I was taught back in the day of university, in college, and it's the one that I use since. But to be fair, you can just go on Google, type in BMR calculator, and you'll have a whole list of different calculators which can calculate your BMR for you. Um, but yeah, I'm just used to this one, and generally speaking, I've been through them all myself and there's probably a variance of maybe 50 to 100 calories. So there's nothing too significant. So you can use any of them. But anyway, this is the one I use. So what you need for this equation is you need your weight in kilograms, you'll need your height in centimeters, and you'll need to know your age. Now, hopefully you should know all of them or at least have a rough idea. So going through step by step, it's 10 times your weight in kilograms. These are my figures, so I've, I've put them in obviously for material purposes. So 10 times 87.5 plus 6.25 times 190, that's my height, and then minus 5 times my age being 23. Now you'd obviously put in your own um, numbers in there. And then for males, this is important, for males, you do this equation and then you add 5 at the end, which is nice. It's not a massive difference, but that's the equation, plus five, but for females, it's minus 161. Once you get that equation, once you type that in, bash away at the calculator, you will get a figure. Mine turned out at 1,957. So for me, that's how many calories I personally need every single day to live, to breathe, to function, for my lungs to function, for my brain to function, and that basically, if I eat that, then that's just covering me being alive. That's, that's not considering me literally getting out of bed and doing everything I do on a daily basis. So I could just literally wake up one morning, lie in bed for the whole day, and I would need at least 1,957 calories. It's also worth mentioning that some people may have heard of the term RMR which is very similar to a BMR, but it actually stands for resting metabolic rate. Now, the difference between the two is the resting metabolic rate takes, in consider in takes into <laughs> consideration of digestion. And you may or may not know that when you eat, you need calories in order to process the food. And therefore this equation takes into account the calories needed for that digestion. It also considers a little bit of light activity. But on the whole, be it mine personally, I would just figure out your BMR because it's a fundamental basis. And the way I look at it is that you need a BMR and that's that, that's final. So it's up to you. Maybe if you know if people want to figure this out, I could do it in another video, but just as a disclaimer, just to not confuse the two. So now you need to figure out your daily activity level. Now, this is very much up to your own interpretation. So only you can really give a true reflection on what you think you are like on a weekly, daily basis. But in terms of the criteria for each one, going through them one by one, 
Note a little exercise is what it says in the title. You live a very sedentary lifestyle and you don't exercise at all outside of that. So day-to-day -day activities would mean getting up, going to work, going to the shop, and just doing household tasks. There's not really much that you're doing outside of your day-to-day -day activities. And so you would times it by 1.2. That's your BMR, you times it by 1.2. In terms of light exercise, this refers to somebody who again has a very similar lifestyle to that of someone who is very sedentary, but they do participate in irregular bouts of exercise. So it could mean going to walk the dog, it could mean going for a run maybe once or twice a week, but again, no more than that. And so then you would times that by 1.37. Moderate is where I believe I fit. So in terms of moderate, it would mean exercising three to five times a week. In terms of heavy, it refers to exercising five to seven days a week. This also reflects somebody who perhaps has more of an active job, so perhaps someone who's on their feet all day, whether it could be personal training, it could be being a waiter, it could be being on a building site, you know, take your pick. If you're on your feet for the majority of the day and you do exercise outside of that, then you definitely need to be within at least this heavy category. So therefore, you would times it by 1.75. In terms of very heavy, then, I mean, I say this may be quite uncommon, but maybe it's not. Very heavy refers to somebody who works, again, five to seven days a week, and they probably do two bouts of exercise each day. And as you can tell, as I've already mentioned, I'm moderate. So what we do now is we take our BMR from the previous equation and then we times it by your classification, me being 1.55. And then I come out with a final figure. Now, as you can tell, mine is just over 3000 calories. So to conclude this video, there's two things, two important messages that I would like to get across. The first of which, is that your BMR, your basal metabolic rate, generally speaking, equates to about 60% of your calorie needs on a daily basis. Therefore, you should not even be considering eating around the number that you need for your BMR. So hypothetically, if your BMR is 2000, you shouldn't be eating near 2000. You should be at least upwards to about 2400, 2500. This BMR simply means the ability to live, for you to function, for your body to do what it needs to do. This does not even consider anything from the moment you get out of bed. So please, please be aware that your BMR is something that you need. It's not something that you can really dictate. The second of which is variance and flexibility. Now again, the figures which I've been through there and the figures that you may end up with it's not set in gold. It's not set in stone, I should say. Oh, no, I got it wrong. But what, you, what this means is that take it with a pinch of salt. If your end equation, the basic terms, is 3,000, then, you know, that's great. That's kind of an area in which you can work around. You don't get bogged down with the numbers, but I can guarantee the more you become aware of what you're eating and how much you're eating, then you can start to adapt and taper your diet accordingly. So, yeah, I hope that's helped. I thoroughly enjoyed using this pen and this whiteboard. So maybe, maybe it will make a return. But until the next video, I hope this has helped. Any comments, put them down below. If you are familiar with the tube, then there is a box similar to this and it has a play button and it says subscribe. If you can click this button, that would be great. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Au revoir.